We just launched into a table at Mahjong time. In this strategy theory session, we're going to be playing American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. If you haven't tried playing at Mahjong time yet, look for my email in the video description below. I can send you information about their VIP trial. Let's see what we can do. Three jokers. I'll take them. That's kind of nice to start off with jokers. We have two multiples here, twos and fives. Maybe we could span two through five. So let's keep two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. We've got three jokers to fill in. And there are several mixed suit hands we could use to get us from two through five. So let's pass defensively here, as defensively as possible. That's as benign as it's going to get. Let's see, two, three, really... We really don't need this three, actually. We could maybe make that a little bit better. Let's see here. If we're left with, let's just try that. If we can get four dots, that would fill a gap, and we could play two, three, four, five, second hand down. All right, we got eight, nine, three. No keeper there. Let's see. Maybe uh, we'll just keep going. Let's just go ahead and hold the three. I'm just thinking it's going to be tough because this is a really risky pass, actually. So we could maybe make it a little better by putting in a little number. All those are all odds, too. No matter how we slice this, it's going to have some level of risk. It would be ideal to get a four dot or a four crack five bam. Okay, now this here we have our three back and a two. We'll just see about gathering. We need a tile though to go here. I, I wouldn't pass like numbers or a pair. No, no, I would rather give something up here. So we could maybe do either a two bam or three dot. Let's, let's. Let's discard three dot. We're still hoping to maybe get that four dot. There it is. We got it. Okay, two, three, four, five. Now we could maybe play two, three, four, five, five if we get four cracks. So let's keep that five bam. And here we can pass south to seven. That's actually a really good pass, very benign. Wind, little even, big odd, different suits. That's a great pass. Well, it's an out, a great outgoing pass, maybe not a good incoming pass. Maybe one of those tiles would be a keeper for anybody. Well, that's not true. Someone could be playing maybe a year hand with wins or like numbers with wins, but a two seven can't be used together. All right, so here we have two, three, four, five, most likely. Let's break up the eights. A little bit risky with a nine, eight, but that's as good as it's gonna get. I think a nine, eight crack in one suit is worse than nine, eight in two suits. So we make it as benign as we can. We did get the three back again, but we have a hand here with no gaps, and I say we focus on it. The only thing that would make me consider a different hand is if we get a four crack. But even then, we would have to pair up. That's the second hand from the bottom under the, the consecutive run category. I think two, three, four, five, second hand down looks really good. No gaps. And we have jokers in two multiples. That's a really good start even though we have five discards. Let's see, we're one away from being set. Oh, we just got a keeper right there, three crack. So now our hand is actually set. We can claim a discard for each block. And here we do have three tiles to pass. So there we go. Put these to the side because we could use them interchangeably until we declare 
an exposure. Two, three, four, five. It'd be nice to get some help with that four. But we could always use a joker. If someone discards it, we could pong. So the shape on that hand is pong kong, pong kong. Two, three, one suit, four, five, second suit. Okay, no keepers. And now we discard. So let's start by discarding outside in. This is a theory I'm working on. Outside in. So basically, seven you characters. discard nine, eight, seven, and one, two, three. Three Hold bamboos. Hold four, five, six. In this case, we're actually using at least one of those tiles, the five. Eight characters. The idea is <coughs> that four, five, Sounds six weird. is in the in middle of a run. So with three, three sequences bamboos. of nine in three different suits um, in American Mahjong or in Mahjong in general. Nine characters. The tiles four, five, six are the most efficient because you can build a sequence three one bamboos. way or another. And that's why I think those tiles are most likely going to be used in exposures. We might be able to get a joker out of it. So let's pass. So that would be a good discard next. North wind. So let's discard three bam. Three bamboo. So here's four, five, six middle tiles. We'll see One if anybody's bamboo. playing something consecutive or eight characters. In this case, even maybe evens. Nine characters. Okay, nine is an outside tile. Nine dots. We're just gonna hold four, five, six, and see what happens. It's One a hit character. or miss theory. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, now there's a six bam. Nobody wanted it, so we'll escalate that as a discard. Two dots. So, oh, there are two nine cracks out, so that will go first. Nine characters. Next, we'll maybe discard this six, depending on what we get. One character. One dot. Five characters. We're looking for a five dot. Okay, we'll let the six go. Now six we have bamboos. a pair of fours that we don't... Oh, we actually have the potential to do two, three, four, five in dots or two, three, four, five in bams. Either way, let's just go with whichever comes first. Uh-oh, somebody just lost connection. <clears throat> That's why their profile picture just went to snow. Okay, so we could do two, three, four, five in dots or two, three, four, five in bams. The thing about the bams is that, well, either way, we're going to need to use two jokers because we would need two jokers for the five bam or a joker for the four and a joker for the five. So either way, we're going to need to use two jokers there. But the hand is still set either way, and Five whatever... Dots. Okay, now this is where we have to decide. Let's just go ahead and Kong. We'll Kong. Kong. And that means we'll let the five... Uh, actually, yeah, let's let the five bam go. Five bamboo. Because we still might be able to get our coax out a joker here with this four bam, maybe. Three characters. Okay, there's another Kong for us. Kong. So now we'll let the four bam go. Four bamboos. See if anybody... Oh, nobody wanted it. Hit or miss. Now here we have three five out. We could be Seven playing dots. either consecutive run or little odds. There's a little odd hand Seven that this could bamboos. work with. And that's the third hand down under odds. Sounds weird. So right now we're semi-stealth. Could be one of two hands at the moment. Nobody wanted the four, so let's let that go. Four bamboos. We're one away from ready, so at this point, I want to hold on to the safest tile seven for my dots. last discard. And there are, there's one Two seven bamboos. crack out, and it's an edge tile, so I think this might be a, a safe Eight discard. Dots. Plus, nobody wanted it, so we'll just see what we get. Six crack, none are out, so we'll let that go. Six characters. That's riskier to hold on to than the seven. 
So we want the Eight riskiest dot. tiles to go out since we're playing to win in, in still the middle game. We're playing to win here. Six now, standard. if one of these tiles go down, I would call it. And of course, everyone at one that point dot. will know what we're playing. Oh, there's a joker exchange. Three characters. Double click on that. Discard our seven, seven which should characters. be a safe tile. And now we're ready to win on either a two crack Eight or dots. a four dot. For two, three, four, five. Semi-stealth mode. West win. Second hand down under consecutive run. White dragon. Ooh, three dot. Discard. Three dots. Two bamboo. Oh, I heard two and I thought that was the dial. Nine characters. So there's a two dot out and three two bams are out. One white dragon is out. Eight bamboo. So part of me wants to. Oh, we got we got a keeper here, so it doesn't really matter. The analysis can stop. Mahjong. So we got two, three, four, five. Second hand down under consecutive run. I think that is the easiest shape on the card. You can use any number of jokers there. You just need to build up your multiples. So let's see what everybody else was doing. Here we have. It looks like 2-3 Dragon concealed. They were one away. They needed a flower or maybe another 2-3. Uh, they could discard that 9-dot and be ready to win. So that was a very close game. Here we have... It looks like they were trying for north and south with fives. And they were two away. They needed to pung the south. Two were out. I, they, I wonder if they maybe were holding the jokers to help them with their fives because our five dot probably mucked up their plan a little bit because I think that was going to be their Kong tile or maybe the fives were. They would have to use those jokers for that five dot. So I think they had to kind of change their plan when this five dot Kong went out. But they had the Joker, so they maybe could have obtained another Joker. And I think, again, that's why they didn't claim that South. They maybe wanted to hoard the Jokers and not let on to what they were playing. I don't know. Just a guess. Okay, so here we have four um, evens. It looks like they maybe were trying for the 2468 one suit hand with four flowers, but they had a gap with no twos which is very difficult because that's a pair gap and it's uh, very, very challenging to commit to that. So they could maybe have even tried for the pair hand, but having a pair gap, that's very difficult. And in this case, they also had a joker that they could have used for either their four, six for that first even hand. But with that pair gap, uh, yeah, that is a, a challenging commitment. And really, it would have been very difficult because we had the twos. No other twos were out, though, in cracks. So their hand was viable. They just needed to get fill that gap. So we won with consecutive run. Two, three, four, five, Pung Kong, Pung Kong. Hey, if you want to know about that inside out theory, this is kind of a work in progress. Several people are testing it out with some success. Look in the video description below for the details because it is it is advanced it's it's a little complex you have to really be um, vigilant at what's happening at the table situational awareness watch discards watch exposures closely if you're playing in person watch body language because anytime those outside tiles are discarded you can kind of gauge what people may be collecting and then also watch discards with those middle tiles to see how people react. And that can give you additional information to making that particular strategy work for you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, May all your picks be keepers.